mama said, don't give up, it's a little complicated, all tied up, no more love, and I'd hate to see you waiting. Live returns with an MBO Live Super Show. It is Wednesday. So happy to see you're all joining with us. Welcome to MBL Live Broadcast 279 here on the MBL Network. I'm OSU. I'm hanging out with my man, the Commissioner Bomber. We have our MBL Live pregame show to get to. It's brought to you each and every week by our sponsor of the pregame show as well as our clothing sponsor. It is Came From Nothing Clothing. Uh, as you can see on the screen, that's just a, a taste of the merchandise uh, that is available. T-shirts, hats, track jackets. They got sweatpants. They got a brand new camo hoodie. Shout out to CFN Clothing, some of the highest quality uh, streetwear you can find. It is so comfortable. I'm wearing my uh, track jacket right now. Um, if you or anyone you know wants to support the MBL, support this great company, head over to CFNClothing.com. Click on the MBL tab. Get yourself a piece of that action. Bomber, we are back, NBL Live, back on the NBL Network. We got a Super Show, Colts, Bengals on one side, Saints, Panthers on the other side, four playoff teams in action here in Week 15. Yeah, really excited about this episode, broadcast number 279. Check out CFN Clothing, man, because we're going to have some new uh, Virginia Beach uh, summer wear coming out here in the next couple days, probably 48 to 72 hours. We're going to have some tank tops. OSU, I know, sun's out, guns out. So you're going to have to be wearing those tank tops at Virginia Beach. Got those uh, super all soakers. <laughs> all kinds of, uh, of swag we got coming out. But, yeah, we got the Virginia Beach uh, summer vacation getaway uh, T-shirts, tank tops all coming out. We got two different ones coming out in the next 48 to 72 hours. But excited about both of these games. Saints-Panthers always going to be a great game, division rival. And then you have the Colts-Bengals, two teams – primed and ready to try to pull some upsets there in the AFC. Should be two phenomenal matchups. Uh, by the way, quick thank you to everybody out there who watched during the uh, the Madden Challenge. Appreciate all the support. Got some very nice tweets. Uh, a lot of love out there from the NBL community. Appreciate it. Uh, and uh, let's get right back to it. Great to be back in the saddle here on NBL Live. Let's take a look at our players to watch. They're, they're saying my mic's really, really they, he's, low. They are Okay, by they are saying, we mean Gibbs is saying, and he's wrong. Yeah, one person said And he is Let completely me know incorrect. Else, yeah, let's get a, let's get a larger uh, sample. Literally, literally haven't touched any of the settings, so it's literally just Gibbs has his headphones plugged in partial way. 
Uh, let's start out with the Colts and the Bengals. Take a look at the players to watch for today's NBA Live 279. Jesse Bates, the third at free safety, is having a great season at the back end of this Bengals defense. Six interceptions, six passes deflected, uh, and uh, 49 tackles. And bomber for, for the Cincinnati Bengals, this was a season that uh, it started out slow, I think, is, is how most would consider it, but they've really come on late in the season. Yeah, the Cincinnati Bengals team doing what they normally do, and that is start off extremely slow where we start doubting them and going, wow, are the Browns really going to limp in here with this scab team, this team that just kind of pieced together in the offseason, not much talent. But then the Cincinnati Bengals start figuring it out, but they still could be in some trouble. This is a must-win game tonight. If they don't win two of their last three games, I think the Cleveland Browns sneak in, and because they have them on the divisional record, they end up beating them even though it's going to be a tie. They have to win two of their last three. It's not going to be easy, but it's a must-win tonight for the Cincinnati Bengals, so they got to keep that hot streak going tonight and defeat these Indianapolis Colts who are currently sitting third seed in the AFC. On the flip side for the Indianapolis Colts, how about Andrew McBride, the young quarterback, 116.6 quarterback rating, almost 4,000 yards, 33 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. For the quarterback bomber coming out of the NBL rookie draft in season 37, he was probably the quarterback that was talked about the least. The Colts found their guy after the whole Baker Mayfield fiasco. Yeah, they absolutely did. Uh, Baker Mayfield was a guy they were trying to target in the offseason. He ended up signing with the Buffalo Bills. That's the newest NBL magazine as well. Uh, Colts sitting at 85, 8 and 5. They got a rookie, Andrew McBride, who's after this game might be leading the league in total yards passing. I know he's been a little loose with the ball uh, lately. Three picks, three inter I mean, three touchdowns, three interceptions against the Tennessee Titans in week 14. I like to see him clean that up just a little bit over the last four games. We're talking about a guy that's got six interceptions. He he's he's been up and down, but he's had a phenomenal year. I think they're really excited about the bright future with the 6'2 Oklahoma quarterback, the Sooner. Uh, 6'2", 215, he was drafted in the first round, and he, he's easily proven that he's an elite franchise quarterback here in the NBL. On the flip side, a key divisional matchup late in the NFC South race. It is uh, the Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. Start out with the Carolina Panthers and Christian McCaffrey. Bob, this is a guy who's been in Carolina that just seems like he's never quite got it going, whether it's injuries, whether it's performance. 552 pa rushing yards, excuse me, 4.4 per on the ground, seven touchdowns. He's just not getting the touches on the ground to make him a worthwhile back, and it's been something that I think has been holding Carolina back. You know, you look at top halfbacks in the NBL in this Madden 19 cycle, one thing I immediately look for is attempts. I want to see these attempts over 175, preferably over 200. That lets me know he's getting a workhorse load. This is the cycle attempt so far. He has had an injury-plagued cycle. We've obviously done uh, five seasons. 163 attempts. 39 attempts. That was NBL season 34. He was really injured. Season 35, 103. Season 36, last season, 159. And this season, 125. He hasn't got going because he really hasn't been able to stay healthy, OSU, and kind of get to that 200 attempt mark in which we can really say, okay, Christian McCaffrey, 92 overall. This kid's really got it. Right now, uh, they're stuck in a long-term contract with him. I don't know if he's really going to pay dividends on what they're paying him because the kid just can't stay on the field. For the New Orleans Saints, uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we know how much the Saints love to use the tight end. Eric Buchanan has really filled in that position well for the Saints. 597 receiving yards, 6 touchdowns, 14.6 through the air. Uh, the Saints team spreads the ball around. They've got about 8 receivers with over 100 yards on the season. They love to air it out. You know they're going to be aggressive defensively. So for the Panthers, Bobber, what are, the, what are they going to have to do to stop this offense and get a win today? Going to have to send some pressure. If you're Carolina right now, uh, you're looking around. You obviously aren't going to be making the playoffs, but you can play a little spoiler. If the Saints kind of go on a downward trend towards the end, that could really mess up their seeding and positioning. And as you know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are rocking and rolling right now. If I'm the Carolina Panthers, what I'm going to do is get to the quarterback. Hanson Spoon needs to be on his back. It's not that hard to do either. All you have to do is send the cover zero hero right back at the guy that likes to run the cover zero. Believe it or not, that's his kryptonite. You blitz him. You send the heat. His offensive line is a little shaky. That's how you can get the job done tonight at home against these uh, New Orleans Saints who are second in the NFC right now at 11-2. 
Before we get to uh, Bombers picks and your picks in the chat, let's take a look at what our Bleacher Report team saw from today's NBL Live Super Show broadcast 279. For the Bengals and the Colts, Cougs and Draco go in the way of the Cincinnati Bengals, whereas the rest of the squad taking the Indianapolis Colts, Double A and Eric G., both on the Bleacher Report team, both not picking because uh, we assume they pick themselves, but got to love a little Bleacher Report battle. Uh, for the other game, JB, the lone Carolina Panthers supporter, the lone man on the Porter train, everyone else wants the, uh, has taken the, those New Orleans Saints to continue on. JB, perfect 8 0 on the season. Rusta Buster also 8 0. Rusta Buster well, also 8 0. Oh, shout out to Rusta, but let's get to JB first. This might be his kryptonite here. He sees his favorite team. This is like the Spurs popping up. If they were playing in the NFL and they were on NBL Live, I'd have to go with the Spurs. That's his Carolina Panthers. That's his hometown team. He absolutely loves them. Is he really picking them, or is he picking them because they're the hometown team and might knock knock off his, uh, put a blemish on his perfect record? And who did Rusta take? He took the Saints, right? Correct. Oh, so there's an, so there, here we go. Someone's not going to be perfect by the end of this. All right, time to get your picks, Bomber. Let's start out with that NFC South matchup, Panthers-Saints. Who's coming out on top here in Week 15? I like the Carolina Panthers to pull an upset tonight, but not enough to actually take them live on the air. I'm going with the New Orleans Saints on the road. I usually like to take the home team, but Week 15, something's telling me the Saints are going to be marching in tonight. I got them winning 28-7. Uh, no, we'll go 28-20. to 20. Uh, right. The New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers. On the flip side, Colts and Bengals. This matchup, Bengals incredibly hot coming into this game. Colts also on a hot streak, but uh, late breaking news, John Ross not available tonight. He will not be available for the rest of the season. Their number one weapon. So does that push the edge the way of the Indianapolis Colts, or are the Cincinnati Bengals going to pull out a big victory? Oh, shit. Gee, what are you I doing over there? Hey, that's Bomber down! Plus. Bomber Guys, down! This is a good phone. It lasts Bomber uh, down! Trouble times. Oh, I man, uh, I'm lucky I didn't cuss right there, man. It was really close. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals tonight. Uh, double A, obviously the chicken parmesan ain't going to help this one. Ooh. I'm going with the Bengals. They tried to cater the Bengals. Uh, they had catering for them this morning. They saw a bunch of chicken parma, what looked like a chicken's arm. I didn't like it. It was uncooked. The Bengals didn't eat it. They're coming up. Now they're hungry. Now they're hungry because they didn't eat their, their catering earlier because double A cooked it. I'm going with the Bengals in a shootout. 42 to 35, I got the Bengals over the Indianapolis Colts in, in kind of an upset. Only one way to find out. Uh, we've given them the ready up, so that means we got a ready up here on MBL Live. Coming up next, the Super Show is back. 279 is here, and playoffs are just around the corner. Saints, Panthers, NFC South matchup, Colts and Bengals in a battle for the AFC. It's all coming up right now here on MBL Live. I just want to say, hey, man, this is T.O., the cover athlete of the Madden 19 Hall of Fame edition, and you're watching the gold standard of the franchise mode, the MBL Network. Holla. And we are live with an MBL Live Super Show. It is broadcast 279 here on the MBL Network. On the left side of your screen, we got the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Indianapolis Colts. On the right side of your screen, it is the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. Two phenomenal games. Four potential playoff teams here in this late season battle. Week 15 action. I am OSU. I'm hanging out with my man, Bomber. Bomber, it's been a while since I've been in the NBL live seat. It's just like riding a bicycle, though. Just get back on, start pedaling, and start yelling, because that's what's going to happen tonight with these two great games. <laughs> hey, we got two nice games tonight. Yeah, you've been gone a little bit, but 200 episodes plus into this thing, it is like riding a bike. Maybe even easier th than that. Actually, uh, let's take a look at the chat real quick. Uh, Doob's in the chat. Brad in the chat. My phone is going crazy right now. Now, kind of knocked it. Tout says, let's have some good games tonight. Well, we will. We don't have the Minnesota Vikings on, on the docket for tonight. We don't have the San Francisco 49ers. We don't have the Arizona Cardinals. This should be two really good games, OSU, and I'm really excited uh, to see how it plays out. Right side of your screen, New Orleans coming out fire and play action, looking deep down the field. Has a man. It is complete down to the 44-yard line. Hanson Spoon picking up 31. Yeah, you got to use of the purples against this guy. A lot of crossing route action, a lot of aggressive action. Got to send the heat and use of the purples and just hope 
that you can get some pressure and force a turnover from Hanson Spoon. Because I'll tell you one thing, he's going to get rid of that ball whether or not uh, the pressure is coming. And you just have to hope you make him get rid of it early. First and 10, trying to run the ball on the right side of your screen. Fly down. This might be coming back for a hold. It will. 10-yard penalty. Going to put it down to first and 20. Left side of your screen. It's Indianapolis Colts starting with the ball. This Colts team, Bomber, is going to attempt to establish that run game with Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, they got to. Le'Veon Bell, well, how great has he been? A workhorse for this offensive unit, and he's taking some pressure off the rookie quarterback. Let's see if he continues that trend tonight. And he finds Le'Veon Bell in the flat. We'll pick up a first down to the 38-yard line. Two for two passing for the rookie, Andrew McBride. First and 20 on the right side of your screen for Hanson Spoon and the New Orleans Saints. Man, coming in motion from right to left. That means it's going to be a stretch play to the right side. The blocking is good. There's nobody over there. He's got a lot of room inside the 40. Spin move. Flag down. So this is going to come back for a block in the back. It's Fondo Johnstone with the block in the back. And how about a first and 15? Yeah, an opportunity to score right there kind of gets taken back. Guys, if you got tier two subs, I want to see them right now. It should be the chef hat uh, from our, our man Serp. If you got a tier two sub, go ahead and put it up on the screen right now. I just want to check it out, make sure everything's rocking and rolling. As you see the new badges for the one year subscription, shout out to everybody who got that real sleek black and gold one year anniversary. OSU, have you checked that out yet? Did, I did. you see it in the chat? He looks pretty good. nice. He looks good in the emote form. First and 15. Four hands and spoon in the Saints looking right side. Um, hey, Porter, that Y button, you should probably try that one because he was in great position to pick that off and just didn't animate. Hey, you got to wonder right now by Porter. This is two games in a row. Uh, you ought to wonder if he's just smashing and dashing that button and smashing and smashing and just not getting any response. Uh, maybe controller, maybe user error. He's going to say controller. I'm leaning towards user error at this point. When it's Porter, it's usually user error. First and <laughs> 10 for Spoon and the Saints. Looks like they're going to try to run the ball to the outside, trying to go right. They've been running it right a lot, and finally, the Carolina defense figures out how to stop the former Atlanta Falcon, Devontae Freeman. Yeah, he does, uh, getting outside. It was a nice bidding war between the New Orleans Saints and the Detroit Lions for Devontae Freeman released uh, from the Atlanta Falcons. Obviously, a, a second halfback play here. Uh, not too much going on in his career this late in his career, but uh, he's still trying to show he's got a little a juice on those tires. Yo, is that Eric G stream doing anything for you? Yeah, I'm getting I just got it. It just came back. Yep. Okay. Second and ten. Hanson Spoon looks over the middle. A little angle route to the uh, fullback. The big fella getting the catch. That is Coker with the catch to the 20-yard line. Third and one. An opportunity for Carolina to hold New Orleans three. Yeah, I just don't see any pressure. Any kind of just, hey, I'm, I'm here. We got a pulse. I know Carolina's out of the playoff run, but I expected more of a pulse to start this game. A little bit more energy at home. I'm just not seeing it here in week 15. Second 18 for the Colts. Nice throw right side. Get to the 34-yard line. Huge third and one on the right side of your screen. Saints are going to try to throw for it. Spoon stepping up. Looks underneath. Has a man. It is complete. Juke move. Oh, that classic. Porter user on defense. You're going to see him diving. Looking like Superman. Not hitting anybody, though. Michael Thomas picks up the first down. Hey, you got to wonder what he was doing. Open space right there. Just make the tackle. You got to make a play. Once again, though, here's the key theme of this drive. No pressure on Hanson Spoon. You let him sit back there. He's going to pick you off. Easy peasy right there for the New Orleans Saints quarterback. Keep track of the Colts and the Bengals on the uh, small screen. The left side. We're going to go full screen with New Orleans Carolina for a moment at the 12-yard line as uh, Cincinnati is able to force Indianapolis to a fourth down to settle for a field goal. Nice run by Freeman. Of the New Orleans Saints to the six-yard line, picking up six. Going to bring up a second and four. Yeah, here we go, guys. If you're not getting the uh, Tier 2 emotes, I uh, apologize for that. We'll get those fixed. For the next NBA Live broadcast, kick is up there for the Indianapolis Colts. They go up 3-0 over the Cincinnati Bengals. Broadcast number 279. OSU, we are approaching that monumental 300. Can you believe that? 300. 300. Can't believe it. As a big hole up the middle. One that OSU could have walked through. Pick it up four. And that's just enough to put six on the board. A methodical and well thought out drive by New Orleans. They fought through two. Count them. Two holding penalties. Are they going to get one for a rough in the kicker? They are. Two holding penalties on that drive bomber. But no panic from New Orleans. They find a touchdown. New Orleans is just smooth right now. They're just rocking and rolling. You talk about a team that's number two in the NFC for a reason. You look at these New Orleans Saints and just look how they just masterfully just drive down the field. Oh, penalty here? No worries. Oh, a penalty here? No worries. They get down the field. They basically went untouched, unstopped. I think there was two third downs they picked up where they had no pressure getting to Hanson Spoon, and he just slices and dices this defense. Carolina, got to see something on offense. Come on, show us a little fight. I know you're out of the playoff picture, but give us a little of that Porter juice. Go back to the dual screen. The double box action. First and 10 for the Bengals. 
A handoff, boy, oh boy, that, that stream is solid. That's a nice throw over the middle to DJ Moore, but how about back it up? We got holdings all over the place, and my, my Bengals stream is just sitting there. Yeah, you hey, know I do side. BTF on both of these guys, and uh, <laughs> I always start thinking, is it me? At one point, and no. honestly, no. now that I know, every time I'm on here with you, I'm like, okay, we're getting the same thing. So it's obviously the same quality. We're gonna get it right next for BTF next season. I promise you that. Eric G in the chat says uh, John Ross is available tonight. I don't think that's true. This shouldn't be true, right? I'm not. I'm not it sure. It's a, it's a back and forth. There was a simulated game. Got it. So I don't. Know, I don't know all the details. I've been in here, so I'm not sure. But the, yeah, that was an issue that. Uh, there was a simulated game, obviously, which the stats wouldn't count against you, right? So, might have been a big game there. I don't think it was a yards per catch thing. I think it was a distribution thing, right? It was. It was distribution. Yeah, so it might be. That 100% could be true. Who knows? Third and long on the right side of your screen. First and 10 for the Bengals handing off, trying to find something on the ground. But Overton, it's not a particularly quick back bomber. He is much more of a bruiser. Yeah, as a rookie, though, man, he sure is getting a lot of play. You've seen a lot of media outlets, Bleacher Report, talking about this Overton, how great he is, the potential that he has on this team. And I want to see him succeed, but, uh, yeah, he's just not that fun to really watch so far early in his career. Third and 25 for the Panthers on the right side of your screen. They have been in the hole after that holding penalty. How about a cover zero blitz? And uh, Porter just not aware that they're going to be sending a lot of pressure that was that was a, a zone blitz that overload pressure on the left side and porter seemed completely caught off guard by it yeah if you're surprised at this point our fifth season in madden 19 that this new orleans saints team is going to blitz you and then blitz you and then blitz you and then if you think he's not going to blitz you he's blitzing you again as savando johnston there returning it just slightly uh, at midfield i guess I, exactly at midfield but uh, that was Gibson, actually. You look at this New Orleans Saints defense. That's what they do. They send pressure. They're going to send heat. If you're not ready for it, you know, shame on you. Because at this point of the game, you got to be ready for it nearly every play because it's blitzing all the time early and often in New Orleans. Shout out to Game Master Key with the subs. It's been a great few months with y'all. I appreciate you, Game Master Key. So glad you're enjoying MBL and all that comes with it. Fun fact, Bomber. I got I got a little trivia question for you. I don't know if you knew this. As a third to the left side, nobody over there for the Panthers. Um... You know, who is Governor, of course, the owner of the New Orleans Saints. Who's his favorite reindeer of Santa's reindeer? Uh, is this some kind of, uh, is this, a, what, like a double entendre or something? Is there something more here? Do, do you what are we the, talking about? Do you know the reindeer? Dash no, I don't Dancer, know. Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cutie, Yeah, 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 Donner, I, know, and... I know the reindeer, but I mean, is this, okay. uh, is no, this something I don't one, know? Is which this... one is his favorite? I don't know, Rudolph? No, it's Blitzen. Oh, See, that's why I knew it was so, okay. Obviously, over See my head. Obviously, is. yeah. Obviously, it's blitzing. It yes, that's the only one he learned. That's the only reindeer he knows. He's like, and he, oh, and duh, his duh, duh, on first down, I'm, second down, third he's down, like, fourth down. Yeah, he's like, let me name the the reindeer. I'm gonna go with Jerry. Uh, I think Kevin's probably one of them. <laughs> blitzing, I know is one though. That one for sure. Handoff left side, Devonte Freeman. Ooh, boy, nice this cut. one's getting ugly already. Carolina's defense completely outmatched. They sent the cover zero and. Uh, well, there was zero pressure on Devontae Freeman as he walks to the end zone for a second touchdown. Yeah, nice little bounce outside there for uh, the New Orleans Saints. You're getting that kind of production from Devontae Freeman at this point of his career. You have to think we're headed into the playoffs. Uh, no more stuttered right now. Devontae Freeman, 72 attempts this season, 288 yards, four yards per carry. That's pretty solid. I mean, you see a 30-year-old uh, halfback, 89 speed, 87 excel. He doesn't Woo! have much left. Uh, but he's trying to make some plays. Luke Poe with the dot to the left side. Bomber Poe missed a bunch of games early in the season. It set Cincinnati back, but ever since he has been healthy, this Bengals team looks back at the top of the AFC North and looking to make some noise in the playoffs. Yeah, you look at Luke Poe, can make all the throws, a quarterback in the AFC kind of rising. Remember he had the quarterback last year. Here's a little trivia for, for you, OSU. You remember his name? New Orleans Saints quarterback. Do you remember? Do you remember? What's the name over there? Eric G knows it off the top of his head. I can't remember right uh, now. I'm trying to buy some time. Do you know it? Wait, wait, wait. What? what? I was I was what? watching the game. What are we What's the about? name of, of the quarterback that Eric G had? Very similar to Luke Poe. Can make all the throws and had a lot of hype. Nice spinning and winning there for Christian McCaffrey. You remember Ooh, for the New Orleans Saints? That. Um. Yeah. When. Oh. When. Um. When Eric was the Saints. Yeah. Last. Yeah, last. What's matter. his face? Um. He'll come to me. I'm just. I'm. He'll come to me. Second and eighteen for uh Poe. Thank you, Decca. Ross Bonham. Ross Bonham. Very the, similar the to Luke Poe. 
Cause I, cause I made a joke. Cause it's picked off. Poe gets hit, and the Colts are going the other way, and he's got a lot of room. 40, 30, 20. He doesn't have a lot of speed. John Ross trying to catch him, but it doesn't matter. The Colts are going up two scores as the Indianapolis Colts. They say, "Pull away, Jose. We're getting six. Yeah, hit on the throw right there, trying to get rid of it, doing exactly what his counterpart Ross Bonham did when he was with the Saints, just trying to make something out of nothing, and it ends up hurting your team. And that's what's the difference between teams who can win in the playoffs and teams that are just kind of regular season heroes. Porter showing that great field position as everybody was outside, could have cut inside, picked up the first down, instead he just runs right into four tacklers. Yeah, just kind of predetermining his run right there. Porter got to get a little smarter with Christian McCaffrey. Don't have to hit the turbo so early. Kind of let the blocking develop in front of you and then make your move right now. Carolina struggling. Let's see if Porter can kind of figure it out. Third and four for the Carolina Panthers. Deshaun Watson at the helm. Andro says CMC going to eat negative seven yards. That's, uh, that's about right. DJ Moore, the lone wide receiver, three tight ends. Play action pass. Pressure picked up nicely. He's got a lot of options, and then Ooh. I got the feed and bounce. Wow. Boy, how late that was, was that? I think Porter might be under the influence of something. The, the reaction time on that one was pretty poor. That receiver to come down with, though, that I like that animation. was very elite-ish uh, right there. As I uh, can't hold on to the ball, the Cincinnati Bengals. That was a nice throw to the right side. To get the if I'm New Orleans, I might challenge that, that catch, man. I don't know if both feet got down. Another pause. Boy, Indianapolis and Cincinnati, they're just pausing all over the place. That's why they've got uh, they've, they've got both these games are uh, rolling right along as the Colts and the Bengals just hit the second quarter and the uh, Panthers and the Saints just hit the second quarter. 14 nothing. Saints on top, but Carolina driving there at the 26-yard line looking to get points out of this drive. It's going to be a two-wide receiver set over to the left side, two tight ends, one on each side of the line. Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Second down. How about we change up the play? Didn't like something he saw. Looks like he switched to halfback way. I'm going to try to pound the ball up the middle with Christian McCaffrey. Wham. Nice blocking McCaffrey. He'll pick up 10 to the 17-yard line. He's going to pick up a first down for the Carolina Panthers inside the red zone. And if you were surprised by the play call from the New Orleans Saints, you obviously weren't paying attention earlier. Overstorm Brave, he's sending the heat. But up the middle, notice no turbo from Porter. Just kind of letting the blocks develop and allowing McCaffrey to kind of find his way. Toss play to McCaffrey, spin move. He'll get taken down at the 12-yard line, picking up five. And so he's finally gotten out of that negative seven-yard uh, hole as a deep pass. Luke Poe down the field, finding John Ross to the 45-yard line. Yeah, John Ross right over the middle of the field. He gets open. As you noticed, uh, you see Luke Poe kind of stunt on, in the pocket, kind of makes a move to the right, steps up just a little bit, drives it down the field, manipulates the user to believe maybe he's going to the seam. I like the pitch and catch there for the Cincinnati Bengals. Sack. Guess what? New Orleans brought a, brought no blitz there and still got to the quarterback. 14 nothing. JB in the chat. But that's by on the way. user. Step up. You got to step up there. You, you see 61 get beat and he's drop back, drop back. You got to step up. Porter's got to step up and recognize this guy's got outside leverage. He's hitting the edge hard. Let me step up and allow my blockers to adjust their angles and maybe buy me some more time in the pocket. Just no real sense of it right now for Deshaun Watson. Rush up the middle, sack, fumble, it's out on the ground. I don't know how many times the uh, New Orleans Saints can bring pressure uh, and Porter just not recognize it. He's trying to run these deep developing. Look at that. And there's two routes that are going to take hours to develop uh, against this New Orleans Saints defense. That's going to be incredibly aggressive. He's not using the underneath at all. No, not at all. And he's not using any kind of spread against this blitz. You want to spread the defense and then have some vertical driving routes to push him down the field. And heck, maybe you get a seam on a blown coverage because they have a lot of guys coming at the quarterback and then other other players are being asked to drop into coverage. I think those seams underneath, you got to work them, got to spread up against this defense, uh, spread out offensively. They're just not doing it right now. Right in the chat saying, one, why? Oh, boy, that's a bad. That's a. That's a. The first pick from Poe, not his fault. The second one, 100% on Luke Poe and the Eric G vision going the other way. Bomber, do we have any other games we can show right now? Oh, right now it's not looking good since he's going to have to get a turnover here on McBride. He's been pretty good with the ball this season, even though as of late, the last four games, he's thrown six interceptions. Let's see if he can clean it up right now. Steel Ball run in the chat asking, why would you bullet that? It's a good question, Bomber. Why would you bolt that? Was he just trying to throw an interception? A little panicky. Just yeah. a little panicky right now. Not comfortable. Not setting his feet. Not making the right throw. 
Uh, a little too aggressive uh, to try to release the ball. Well, it's interesting watching this Carolina team send a lot of pressure. You're seeing a lot of blitzes, and New Orleans is just running right past it. And that's more of a pass rush blitz right there. Obviously, you're sending, I believe you're sending six right there, dropping five into coverage. But the user is caught on the other side of the field. I mean, why is the user playing on the opposite side of the trips? It's not going to make it over there to the crossing side of the field because you're sending everybody. And if it does, you're beat anyways. Why not stay on the strong side of the field and allow yourself to be in the play there? Takes himself out of the play, just user in the wrong guy. How about, how about give him a free five with a little aggressive pass rush? Yeah, yep, Porter just, just seems to be a step behind. Just yep. flip that up. That's uh, I, I assume that's what Porter's uh, parents were told when he was in fifth grade. He's just a step behind, guys. No, he's he's <laughs> adorable. He's just a step behind. First and ten on the left side of your screen for Andrew McBride and the Indianapolis Colts after the interception. He's going to take off, pick up some yards, casually lumber out of bounds. How about another run for Devontae Freeman? Breaks a tackle, first down and more. Boy, Hanson Spoon doesn't even have to do anything the way Carolina's defending these runs. No, not at all. He, he, he It just seems like Hanson Spoon's going to say, hey, hey, Devontae, you ready to eat? Ready to get some carries, get you ready for the playoffs? I'm going to give it to you outside. We're going to hand it up off the middle. You're going to run off tackle inside zones, however you want it, man. It's going to be a whole lot of running. And then the minute that they try to bounce on the run and pounce on the run, we're going to play action and get it down the field. Hey, the interior of the Carolina defense makes a stop on a little draw play. Loss of three, big third and two for uh, Indianapolis. They're at the 43-yard line. Cincinnati needing a stop and badly. Yeah, here, here it goes for Cincinnati. This is the ball game right now. If you can just kind of hold them from getting points on the board, I still think you're in it. But if you give up a touchdown here, go down 17-0. This team is just has too much high-powered uh, offensive weapons. You're going to be in trouble. Third and two, test of will here. Let's see if they can get them off the field. I don't know if you saw, but Porter tried to dive with a – uh, as that's an incomplete pass. Good defense down the field. Bad throw from McBride. I don't know if you saw. Spoon just took that up the middle. There's nobody there. Completely vacated. Porter was on the defensive tackle, who was clearly fatigued. Tried to dive after Tanson Spoon and just sort of <laughs> crumpled. It was hilarious. I've been there, my my big fella. I've been there, brother. Just fall down when you're tired. He's, that's when the game's trying to catch up to the amount of times you've already spammed X on the play. It's like, you know what? It's almost like 2K where you, you've already passed the ball and you're just kind of waiting on the guy to get the to, to receive the ball and then he's passing it again. You're like, oh, crap. You know, I'm yeah, not going to be able to kill that. That, that, that DT like looks like I did when I was playing basketball out in San Francisco. Just like, man, man, was that? What about that fadeaway, though? I, hey, man. I, it looked like, I look like Jordan right there. Uh, Jordan, Jordan on Jordan Utah? Move. Yeah. Would you do <laughs> like all over Byron Russell or what? Hey, no it was more actually. It was more. I, I don't want to say George. It, it was more um, mellow in New York down in the low post. Wow, Just that's that little, pretty nice, little man. Baby fade away. It was nice. And mind you, you are saying six eight two forty right here on a nice finesse uh, fade away there. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely two forty. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just not the six eight part, huh? Oh no, God no. <laughs> Uh, it was good. No, it was a lot of fun. I haven't played ball like that in a while, so it was fun. You're going to be seeing by the time we get, I'm telling you now, by the time we get to uh, the uh, Madden Bowl, the last chance qualifier in the Madden Bowl uh, in uh, San Francisco, April 20th to the 28th. Uh, you're going to be seeing a a, a, a a slimmer OSU when he gets down there. I want, I want to be a force oh, wow. on the court. Wow. It's going to be uh, different. You're going to be picking up uh, full court, maybe? I don't know about that. Listen, Base I'll, garden. I'll be no? slapping the floor at half court. <laughs> and then I'll get blown by by somebody athletic. Dude, some of these pro men play. But then that, that's athletic. what you do. You, you let them blow by you, and then you just leak out. And then you're yeah. open, you know? Exactly. It's just, it's yeah, a but gimmick. then you got to trust yourself to make the open layup, and I didn't. I was like. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, then like, just stop. Just spot them at the three in the though, corner. Legitimately, this was the first time I had shot a basketball in probably six years. Oh, wow. Mid blitz. This should be an easy throw. It is. Over the middle, DJ Moore picks up 10. I'd like to see Carolina get on the board here. I'd like to see a touchdown. Just keep it close for us. Even Cincinnati, both teams driving right now. If they don't, none of these teams come away with points right here, it's going to be really tough to get back into these games. Handoff on second and seven for the Bengals. A lot of room over there. Great play call down to the 44-yard line. So two double-digit deficits, but both teams with the ball looking to make some noise as that's the other thing that baffles me about the play calling in Carolina. How often do we see Christian McCaffrey running something between the tackles? Not not much. Uh, it, it, it seems that this team gets caught up uh, in, in trying to just run the same similar kind of runs and just really doesn't mix it up too well. I'd like to see them mix it up a little bit more. 
move. Dangerous. Oh, that's a nice catch. What though. a catch in that 23 yard line. Right over the top of the defender. Boy, it was dangerous, but it worked out for Luke Poe. If you see a, a defender on your back and he's got a beat on the ball, slow down. That's what happened. John Ross just kind of hit the brakes on him, kept his positioning, and then was able to make a play on the ball. Oh, uh, That's a hell of a throwaway right there. That is a heck of a fadeaway. That was like OSU at the park right there, fading away. <laughs> the fadeaway throwaway right there. What was that? The number of times that Gov brings six seven guys on a blitz and porter is completely caught off guard by it is awesome. yeah he can't believe it. he's like oh crap oh, this guy's blitz again me today. second and 24. do we have another fadeaway throw to the flat that would get you a, a nice tight four yards cut it to a third and 19. Yeah, you're looking at the blitzing right now up the middle. It might be time to start pinching. I always wonder uh, against the Saints, you know, pinching the line will work. A lot of their blitzes aren't coming off the edge. They're really just overloading the middle of the field. You know, they're coming right at the tackle, uh, right at the center. You're just not, excuse me, the guard in the center. You're not seeing much uh, down the field. Oh, that's going to be defensive yeah. pass interference. There you go. Unnecessary, OSU. You did not have to switch on and try to ream through the guy. You could have stayed where you were. You could have timed it perfectly and swatted it down. Now you're giving some free plays out there. And this is a crazy Carolina team. You don't want to give them any life. Third and three for Poe and the Cincinnati Bengals. Driving back. Looks underneath and that coverage at the line. If you're Cincinnati, you got to know. It's probably a hard flat, probably a cover two. So a drag route is just not going to be the way you pick that up. Yeah, and it was just kind of a late throw, too. I'd have thrown the drag just slightly earlier and then tried to turn up field if I knew I was going there. Uh, it just didn't seem too smart. Okay, is Deshaun Watson trying to hit Natrell Jamison in the hand? Uh, he's trying, but Jamison says, hey, I'm defensive pass interference or I'm dropping it. I'm a defensive player for a reason. Jamison, really tough safety in this game. Phenomenal player, not making the catch right there. I appreciate everybody hanging out with us. NBL Live 279 here on the NBL Network. We're going to have a Saturday night showcase this week. Don't know what the games are yet, but we're going to have a Saturday night broadcast. It's a screen pass, and I don't I don't understand. I don't understand why anybody tries slip screens in this game. They no, they, there's work. actually a few that work. Uh, Draco actually scored one on me on the 25, and he won the game on it. And I said, oh, those work again? I went into practice no. mode started messing with it. No, a couple of them do, just most of them don't. But the slip screens don't. Cross screens sometimes work. Anything with motion works, but the straight up slip screens, they don't work. Third and 10. Bad pass. Come on. Gonna... Yeah, Watson, you got to set your feet. And that was a one yard gain. He d I feel like that could have been a nicer pickup, but at this point, it just seems like Deshaun Watson just, I think he's checked out. I think they've checked out in Carolina. Arguably, one of our most failed building the franchise uh, series no, this year. Uh, by far but, the most failed. Yeah. It's not it arguably. Just, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're going for 8-8 eight eight here, which would be the lowest record if they lose this game today. A nice spin on that punt return. Gibson got some room. That's a fat guy out of breath. I oh, will stop and go. Oh, Porter had four missed tackles on that one. Woo. Gov making him look silly. Uh, Gov's on his game right now, and Porter is just, uh, he's, he's, he's on vacation. He's already thinking about what he's got planned this summer. DJ Moore, where is he going? He's headed to the Bahamas. Deshaun Watson, who, who knows? He's headed around the world. Uh, Luke Keekley just signed a two-year, $16 million extension. He's headed to uh, his house to think, why the heck did I sign up for this team for another two seasons? Uh, it's getting crazy right now. Big sack for the Bengals defense. That was Lawson off the edge. That'll take him to halftime. 10-3 the score. It's been all Colts in that game. So for the Bengals, they got to feel real good with two first-half interceptions only being down a touchdown. Yeah, only being down a touchdown, you're seeing a lot of pressure from Carl Lawson. I like what he brings to the defensive end position for this defense. He's a good player, and now you got an opportunity to tie this game up. So if I'm Cincinnati, I'll say, hey, it did not look good in the first half. It wasn't our best brand of football, but we're only down seven. There's still an opportunity, a lot of football left for us to regain, reclaim, and try to come away with this win. Now they had 10 for the New Orleans Saints. 40 seconds and counting in the first half. Spoon looks over the middle. Boy, there's somebody there, and it just doesn't matter. What is the Carolina defense doing? They're just not making plays. Yeah, they're just not reacting to the ball. It just seems like a lot of these guys have really checked out on this franchise. Carolina uh, not looking good right now. Usually a team that can play spoiler and kind of uh, trick you and have you play down to their level, and then they come away with the win. Right now it seems like uh, Gov and this New Orleans Saints team is just firing on all cylinders. Stepping up, spoon back in the end zone. That's a hot a bad pass. pass. That's that was a bad throw. That's a that's an intercept interception that that spoon saves him by by just airmailing it out of bounds. Nobody there as uh, 
New Orleans already up two scores, looking to go up by three. And Carolina, as you said, they look checked out. They are completely outmatched so far. Is there any halftime adjustment that can be made, or is this ball game already over? I don't know. I don't uh, like this call at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't like. like they're this. gonna get over I'm, top of this. Yeah, I don't know what this. Oh, he went to the wrong one. He had the back of the end zone. Did you, did you oh, see he the was end zone? so open. Oh, Shaq Thompson with the pick and the first was mistake that from Gov. Oh, there's an Oki. Yeah, the post was, was wide open. It was a roll wow. coverage, but that linebacker or that cornerback in the slot didn't get back. The the skinny post was just yeah, wide, wide open, open in the end zone. Yeah, and he had he had a route right over top of it, and uh, he went for the underneath and throws a pick right before half, which. If Carolina needs any any life right here, they still got three timeouts, 24 seconds. They could get in field goal range or turn the ball over. One of those two things are probably oh, going to happen. It's end of the half. New Orleans got a 14-point lead. Are they going to stop blitzing? I don't think no. so. No. Uh, if, if it was end of the game with 20 – if they were up 20,000 points right now, they're blitzing. They're not going to stop even though they're in drop coverage here. Yeah, three-man rush. Corner route has a man, but – nope. Out what is up with Deshaun Watson today? Just a – He's late on his throws. Yeah, a lot of air underneath the ball. The accuracy has been questionable at best. Right there, he had the red route open across the field. He waits to throw it. And then at the same time, the ball is just it, the, the placement of the ball hasn't been good. This looks like man coverage here. Second down and 10. Rush brought off, brought off the right side, picked up. Gonzalez with the drop. I didn't even like the throw there, though, Bomber. You, you got 28 seconds left. Now 14 yeah, what are we seconds doing? you're looking underneath. Yeah, you got to wonder. What are we doing here? It's okay if we arm punt it. 14 seconds left, right? Let's go ahead and chunk it up. Let's see if DJ Moore can make a big play. And if he does, we're in field goal range. If not, it's an arm punt. There ain't much time left. Take a shot down the field if you're Deshaun Watson. Flip it over to Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Cincinnati on a drive here. First drive of the second half. Keep an eye on Carolina. They finally chuck it up down the field, and James Gonzalez makes a catch in traffic at the 47-yard line. <laughs> he just dropped one underneath and catches that. I mean, this is – I'm telling you, this kid, James Gonzalez, has a lot of potential, but he's inconsistent. Kind of reminds me of that Eric Ebron when he was with the Lions before I realized I didn't think he had any potential. But at the point where I still thought there was some hope there, that was a big dog catch right there. Eight seconds left. Let's see what they can do. Oh, pressure. It's a little blitz, but he dumps it off to McCaffrey underneath on the angle route. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Take that time out. Get your points. A nice try to kick a field goal. It's going to cut it to 11 if he makes it. That's a big if because it's Porter. Uh-oh, Luke Poe open down the field. That's Oh, get into the end zone. 32 <laughs> yards. A beautiful play playmaker. That's what the a best playmaker. play we've seen on this stream right there. Just got outside. I thought I thought he was past the line of scrimmage OSU. Did you think that? The Panthers going to shank this, right? This is 100% going to be shanked, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a fake. Oh, he faked. Oh, he faked it. And he chucks it down. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't know. Was that a first down or what? It was, right? He went for the yeah. OSU special. Overthought it. Yeah. He gets the ball at half. I mean, that could have been a field goal 17-60 right now. I that need a minute. I got to work through some PTSD. <laughs> oh, man. You want to tell everybody about that who wasn't here or no? No, I don't. Are we trying to forget that ever happened? What happened? Nothing happened. <laughs> Worst part is Josh Hill plays for the Saints right now. Well, of course he does. If he has any kind of speed at tight end, he's on the Saints. Hey, on isolated die. Did that look like an OSU play? Die. Go plane traffic. It's got options. Looking down the side. It's oh. What a, oh, what a catch! Oh, 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 okay, DJ, DJ Moore. Okay, right, DJ. That's wide receiver okay. in the NFL. All right, I'm going to give it to him. That was a very horribly placed ball for Deshaun Watson, and he He's comes down with that. He's been awful today, by the way. Yeah, that's a that's a big dog. Uh, that's a big dog catch right there. Uh-oh, McCaffrey. Okay, Porter. Lot of room left side. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Panthers. A little bit of life as C-Mac putting the smack down on the New Orleans defense. But they call him third quarter Porter for a reason. Or I just made that up right now. But he's looking good to start this third quarter. 29 seconds into the third. Already got a touchdown. A TD on the board. Let's see if Porter can come back here. John Master 0125 says OSU fake field goal king. Is that never talking about it again? Is that never talking about it again? <laughs> I was a good fake field goal, man. You still got a field goal. I still went into overtime, too. So even the downside yeah, of Yeah, but I was shook at that point. <laughs> I was 100% shook. I was shook. <laughs> I was shook.
Hey, I was surprised. I remember being on that call. I was like, you oh, and fake. TFA were on the call. I was on the call with TFA. Oh, that's crazy. I couldn't also, actually, that was that back when we had producers. Like on there. TFA was, wasn't wasn't horrible. No, TFA was good. We it, back when we had producers, and uh, you guys were about four seconds ahead of the. Play. <laughs> it was old NBA live. Go back and watch it. And I don't even see so you would remember that because you went back and watched it as your game. I don't even remember that. I just remember the fake field goal, and I go, "Oh my gosh!" And then I thought the time was, and then there was one second, and TFA was like, TFA was like he got one second. He's oh, that's got to be a user pick right there. Come on, Eric G. You baited him into it. The double ends the easiest to pick. You let the first one go, or you shade with the first one just a little bit, and you come back for the other one. Uh, Brad saying, who in Tarnation was TFA? Think s slightly slightly nastier Kyle is the best way I can describe him. Uh, he's, a, he's a Boston boy. He's a, right now uh, working for uh, the police. Went through police academy, doing <laughs> stuff with the uh, cops, so... Uh, some dead bodies are certainly getting violated. Hey, if you get pulled over anywhere in that Boston area, just make sure you go. You're not TFA, are you? And if he is, start recording. Get your start phone out. Start recording. <laughs> roll the windows up. Just lock your doors. First and ten. Hanson Spoon missing the throw to the right side. Carolina's got life, but uh, it's it's going to come down to this defense has not played well. Hey, a uh, little fish in the chat saying, how does Eric G even have this game tied? I don't know. Good question. I have no idea. Watch the seam right here to T.Y. Hilton. Watch the seam to T.Y. Hilton right here. Second and one. Left side of your screen. Dropping back on second down. Good coverage downfield. Looks to the... Oh, what a throw. To the seven-yard oh. line. Andrew McBride with a dotty dot dot. Yeah, he put the slant, and it just kind of was on the same level as that post, that little switch on the left side. I don't like that spacing. Uh, to field me, there's not enough field behind it. I don't like it. Seal ball right in the chat says, can someone please tell me who Kittle plays for? George Kittle? Yeah. Or Kerry Kittles. No, not Kerry Kittles. Not the new former New Jersey net. Talking about Villanova. Kittle. Superstar. Three three point specialist Kerry Kittles. Love those Nets teams. Kittles. Uh Richard Jefferson. Kenyon Martin. Jason Kidd. Keith Van Horn. Team. Oh yeah. Lucius they, Harris off the bench. They, Rodney they Rogers. Would you want to keep going? That ball. They would they would chuck up forty threes a game. They were the Golden State Warriors before the Golden State Warriors. Well they weren't that good. Come on. They, but they weren't as good. Back to back championships, back to back L's. They were the Buffalo Bills, maybe. Me style of play, they were they were ahead of their time. Fumble, oh, balls out. Give Get it up out. by the Give it up. the Bengals. Deep shot over the top, looking for Johnstone. Nobody home though. For Savando the Johnstone. Woo. I feel like that was a key and peel name too. Savando Johnstone. Jamie, that's pretty good. Jimmy, Jimmy. Who does George Kittle play for in our league right now? Steelers? Is it Steelers? I think it's I think Steelers. it's the Steelers locked him up yeah. to like a four or five year deal. Gibbs in the chat just not answering. He's like, Meh. I'm not gonna tell you. Overton, big hole up the middle, 30, 35, 40, one yeah, hand to big, cross the midfield, off. spin move, 30, 25, 20, you keep watching that one as he's inside the eight yard line, Overton, oh, get almost tackled. at 100 yards, what a run from Overton and the Cincinnati Bengals. Spinning and winning, how did he get tackled at the end, they should have gave him the jump animation, you know that there, little, was there that a little fumble on the other jump? One? Was there a fumble in the other game? No, uh, Saints still got the ball. Okay, cool. Just checking. How about Overton powers through and says, I'll finish Okay, so we were Eight talking trash about this rookie. Out. I'm going to go look on Daly's right now. He's got some great stats. I mean, this is a kid that is putting up a lot of uh, a lot of numbers and so far this season. He needs some milk. Get him some milk. Give him seven as Cincinnati has taken the lead. Improbably. Some key turnovers late. They did turn the ball over twice in the uh, first half, but that fumble was huge in Overton. Took it 89 yards in two plays. How about the rushing? From the Cincinnati Bengals, first and ten on the other side of your screen. New Orleans in business at the Carolina defense, starting to crumble. Like a like a nice Welcome apple to network, pie. Baby. Shout out to Ric Flair with the uh, the Twitch Prime sub. It's Freeman looking up the middle. Nobody home. Second and ten. Yeah, leading a rusher this year out of all rookies is uh, Marquise Patterson at, from the San Francisco 49ers with 698. But Cortez Overton, Cincinnati Bengals with 635. Everybody else is under 400. He's been balling this year. Uh, third round pick, stud out of Washington. A uh, little run from Hanson Spoon, but the user, Luke Keekley getting to him. Big third and six for Carolina. Boy, this defense is getting torn apart. And, you know, you said that. 
the the kryptonite to New Orleans is bringing some of that heat back at them. But Carolina just hasn't. They brought heat, but they haven't gotten through this offensive line, and because of that, it's left some open gaps in the, in the past. Yeah, it just game. hasn't been good. You've had opportunities to make some plays. You've made a couple plays, but at the same time, this is a struggling team. That's oh! a bad throw. Like I said, there's been a couple of those hands and spoons where. Uh, Oh, man, he's, he just seems to just read the defense completely wrong and then try to be overly aggressive for no reason, and they really haven't paid off uh, defensively for this team. Well, it's good. Ten-point game. Carolina's still in it. How about this second half? How about this third quarter from the Cincinnati Bengals? Yeah, the Cincinnati Bengals come back. They're down 10-3 to before the end of the half. Uh, you know, then they tied up 10 to 10. They get a big time play from their defense, and Overton scores 17 to 10. Uh, they're rocking and rolling right now. They got a lot of momentum. I appreciate everybody hanging out with us Wednesday night. Broadcast 279 of NBL Live here on the NBL Network. I'm OSU. I'm hanging out with my man, the Commissioner Bomber. We've got more NBL Live coming up. Uh, it's going to be Saturday Night Showcase. Not sure what the game's yet. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at NBL Network at Bomber League. We'll announce them there. Uh, and then it's, it's playoff time. Uh, we'll broadcast every round that we possibly can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He went for the oh, pick on DJ, DJ Moore. Moore. Uh, DJ no, Moore. DJ. Hey, hey, Bomber, what do they call DJ Moore south of the border? They call him DJ Moss, a.k.a. Mr. Taco Bell, Liv Moss, NBL superstar, numero, I don't know, 12, off the top of my head. Wow, that that'd just be, died that'd real quick. Dose. That would be Dose. Uh, uno, wait, uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta start from one. That's the only way I know. Uh, Diaz. It's Dose. Yeah, okay. It's Dose. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That got ruined quick, but it's Dose, yeah? You really knocked that one out of the park. That was, Dose, that was a Trece, deep fly 14. ball. Okay, yeah, you're right. That was right, a deep yeah. fly ball going to the stands and... Mmm, it looks like it falls just short on the warning track, and it's caught for now. Looked like it was going to be a homer, but eh, not quite. Shout out to Homer. Shout out to A.K.A. Homer. the destroyer of the New England Patriots in two a seasons. A A.K.A. the man who I threw that fake field goal against. <laughs> oh, was that him? Yeah. Oh, gosh, Porter. Oh, oh Porter. gosh, Porter. <laughs> he just doesn't make it easy for himself as the Colts get back in with the touchdown there to Eric Ebron. Former Detroit Lion. He's so bad. He's so bad defensively. Woo, if you took the under on this game, it's not getting there. Yeah, it, it just seems like uh, Carolina open field tackling has hit Stick City, and they're not hitting anybody. It's just, it's just Stick City on the outside. First and 10 for Hanson Spoon. How about Carolina getting some pressure as Speaks come around the outside? These two defensive ends, Bombers, Speaks and Juwan Lett, they have provided a lot of uh, big plays since the Carolina defense. Yeah, no sophomore slump for Juwan Lett. I mean, we talk about him on BTF, maybe not living up to the hype he had as a rookie, but he's been pretty solid. Speaks, Breland Speaks has been great on the edge as well. You also have Tim Jernigan inside defensive tackle position. Luke Keekley. there's a lot of studs on this defensive unit. Just haven't seen him really live up to the hype just yet. But right there, make a play. I'm sorry, I, I have so much anger towards that play. I'm just not going to say anything. What play was that? The, the, the defenders laying out. It's horrible. It's just awful. I like Luke Keekley doing that. I'm okay with it in zone coverage. That that one I'm at least okay with. But one on one man coverage. That's how DJ Moore got loose. Is the guy went and tried to lay out for it. That was more of a user play. But the automatic layouts and man coverage is, is awful because there's no way that a player would make that play. How'd you do that in cover zero man coverage? This is Steelers cross. He's got a man diving play. What a throw. Dotty dot dot. See, hey, right there, if he just doesn't lead him out too far, you got an opportunity to catch the ball and maybe pick up some more yards. Uh, so maybe leaving some yards on the board there, but Hanson Spoon had to make sure that he kind of just put the ball uh, in an area that only his man could get it. Devontae Freeman, the halfback man, the diving play. What is Carolina doing defensively? Oh, they're bringing a cover zero. Uh-oh, that's a man wide open right up the middle. Whoop. Yeah, they try to get aggressive, and they just call. almost hesitant of it. Yeah. It's five wide. You're, you're, it's a, is Porter calling the defense before he sees what they're coming out? That was a five wide set. He came out in 46. He's trying to get really, he's, he's overthinking it right here. I wonder if this is a screenplay of some sort or some Child's kind of saying, run. Why get aggressive in five wide? It's a good question. Flat route, slant route. Ooh, nice, nice defense defensive. right there. I like the animation there. I like the hands on the ball. I like the hands on the receiver making a play on Johnstone. Uh, you got corners on this Carolina team. On paper, they're a really good team. Now, when they get on the field, we just haven't seen it really translate into a dominating defense that we believe that they have. Watch, watch Adams here on the left Boop, side. She Devontae says Adams. corners bite on balls they shouldn't all the time in real life. No, not in not in cover zero coverage. When you know you have no help over the top, you do not see good cornerbacks trying to make diving plays that they know is going to leave the wide receiver open. It doesn't happen. They make the play for the body. They'll give up the six yard. 
they will not make a dive that knows that if they miss that dive, he goes 75 yards down the sidelines. Yeah, we in can't run coverage, cover zero in I'm Detroit. Cover <laughs> Detroit. In real yeah. life, that's all we do is do big plays in zero. Missed the extra point. Hey, keeps him alive. A touchdown and then a, a field goal. And you win the game here, Porter. That's a big miss right there. I'm our, point game. I have suspicion OSU was talking about our game today with the dive and man. I, it's four straight games. Four straight games it's happened. Three times it's been Devontae. Or it's uh, been, uh, uh, what's his face? Trufant. Desmond Trufant on the outside. 97 overall cornerback making dives and covers zero coverage. Missed all three. It's not just that game. Uh, Motor saying any coaching adjustments on. Not that I've seen. I don't know if you're talking about this one. For me, no, I don't touch. Kabama, I don't touch coaching adjustments really anymore. Do you do you, do you play around with the coaching adjustments at all? Uh, only speed, uh, matchup by speed if I need yeah. to. It just depends on who I'm playing. If if they're really aggressive and just trying to beat me vertically because I have a vertically I have a speed challenged cornerback with T's Tabor 87 speed, I got to make that adjustment. But that's pretty much it. Shadow in the chat saying this uh, defense uh, from uh, Double A looking like it's chicken farm. <laughs> I don't tell you, I don't think Double A is a very good defensive uh, user at all. I, I don't think he's I, – I think it literally he just hawks the middle of the field. You take that away from him, it's just – he doesn't get much pressure. His defense doesn't seem to really wow you. They don't really make plays like the, the players that he's building up. So it just seems like it's very dependent on picks in the middle of the field. If you kind of avoid yeah. the middle of the field, you're going to be okay. Yep, Foop, four straight games. It was, all, it was three of them were uh, Trufant. One was uh, Isaiah Oliver. Uh, uh, Trufant is not making a great pitch in Atlanta to get signed to that one-year contract. I'm just saying. I like this play right there. Look, he takes the angle route, motions Woo. him outside, shrieks the other one. The angle route's going to get open. He just doesn't have enough time right there. As the, the Bengals are starting to look and cook right here. 11 left. carries, 133 for Overton. He's been a beast. Welcome to the big show. NBL Live broadcast 279. If you want to join the NBL, go to 365.mattabomberleague.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, check us out live here, twitch.tv backslash NBL Network. Uh, that's for shot. That's going to back up for a hold. That's a big holding penalty. Hey, uh, New Orleans brought well, uh, covers big. I, mean, I, I like to be back a little bit. 13? Opera, there's some room to work. Now posts are back in play, right? Corner routes are back in play if you get uh, a little man zeros. I wish I had my breaking news uh, sounder uh, update on third down and four. New Orleans brought a cover zero blitz and Porter got hit as he threw. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> hey, it, but it's effective. That's it's news. working. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, that's like it, that's like when it rains in Seattle, man. Every like twelve times a day. Stick or it Florida, with the huh? Sun don't shine. Seattle, Washington. October in the chat saying, "Damn, Overton eating." Dark Knight saying, "Overton keeps pushing that pile, with only fifty-eight strength and fifty-three trucking." Crazy. Who's saying that? Dark Knight. By the way, how about the work that Dark Knight has done with graphics for the NBL now? Oh, phenomenal job. His commentary, phenomenal job. less than stellar, but, you know. His commentary? What did he do on the commentary? What are you uh, talking about? No, he's saying Overton keeps pushing that pie with only 58 strength and 53 trucking. Yeah, and, and he's only a buck 98. But, like he said, I mean, who's he running into there? What's the pile made of? We know the Colts like to stay in nickel and dime all game, so what is the size on these linebackers? Eh, you know, sometimes people get beat. Brad in the chat says, Porter not blocking an extra player against a heavy blitzer is maddening. Get it? Pacto maddening? Pacto says Overton took the shot before the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost threw that seam and got picked off. He thought about it. Quick throw underneath. Hall down to the five-yard line. Timeout taken by Indianapolis. Under the two-minute warning. Tie ball game. Is there a chance, Bomber, that uh, it's four-down territory for the Bengals? They're going to take their three and trust their defense. Their defense has played well today. They're going to take the three and trust the defense. Absolutely. I'd like to see them actually run it here. How about Carolina? Picked off. Back in it. Oh, what a room. Uh, BTS Bengals are dead. <laughs> I don't think you should be showboating that much when uh, you yes, play like he has to. He's Porter. He makes no sense. He only makes dollars. Don't throw the pick. Don't throw the pick. Don't throw the pick. Don't. Oh, they, he tried Ooh, to. Well, he tried, tried to. to. The Madden, you know, the Madden God said, I'm not letting you do this. Do not do this. Hey, like, look at me. Eric. Hey, Eric. Eric. Eric, Eric Greco. Eric Greco, yeah, look right. at me! Look at me! You will not get picked off! He's looking down like a dog that done ate the, you know, oh, unravel. What did you do? Everywhere. What did you yeah. do, Eric? <laughs> Eric, what did you do? Wow, that should have been picked off. Save right there. Uh, Colts kind of missed one. That's a horrible throw. Just run the ball. Don't put yourself in that position, Eric, because you know what you're going to end up doing is trying to force it in there. If you just ran it, you just take all that away. If you get in, you get in. If not, you kick the field goal. I just got a text from Rico Williams. Oh, crap. The MCS? Uh-oh. Rigo just texted me. He's in New Jersey. Texted me with a picture of the White Castle he's ordering DoorDash from. Well, I, I, oh, I no, promise he tweets it. a lot about this diet. 
But yet, <laughs> yeah, he also. I might have broken his diet by bringing. Yeah. White oh man, you didn't broke his will. One hundred percent on me. Yeah, it's totally on my bad. My bad, Rico. I'm so sorry for that one. Let's talk about how bad In and Out Burger is, though. It's not bad. Five second it's just spot. Overrated. Come on, man. It's bad. It's, it's not bad. Way, it's so overrated. It's bad. It does have the worst fries of any fast food. Place. What the? So, you don't like soggy fr fries? Mm. With the, with only the top layer of uh, uh, man. Uh oh. The pressure hey, Carolina's in this game. Oh wait, like Indianapolis and Cincinnati. They got a dogfight going right now. Stumbling and bumbling. Andrew McBride puts him in field goal range. We got two good games. Somehow this has turned into two good games. What seemed to be almost two bad games. 10-0. The Bengals were down. It was 13 to what? Three for the Carolina Panthers or something like that. And now they're right back in it to win it. Imagine if they didn't go for that stupid fake field goal at the end of the half. They'd have a lead right now. Wouldn't that? Wouldn't that have been interesting? Who could have warned him that? Minute 11 to go. McBride stepping up. McBride rolling to the right side. He's got a man down the field. Does he stay in bounds? He does at the 8-yard line. 8 yards away from taking the lead. Cincinnati. Drop coverage not working out. And, and, and Eric G is just not using those purples. You know that uh, the Colts are going to be looking for those crossing. And, and you can't rush three. Send a corner. You got to send a corner on a uh, blitz. Deca, you know he's just trying that. to get out of the pocket. What's Deca up? Says, Deca says Taco Bell most overrated fries around. Don't, he had one bad experience. He had them once. Taco Bell fries are good, man. Yeah, they're he's, crispy. He's they, they're not bad for not being a burger place. They're good, I think. Oh, what a stop by Porter. And he's going to get the ball back here. A stop on third and three. McBride scrambling. Tries to get to the end zone. Taking down to the six. Carolina has life. Let's go to the double box. Both these games are coming down to the fourth quarter. JB in the chat. Oh, no, that's not JB in the chat. That's Googs. He's saying, don't score too quickly here. He's talking to the Indianapolis Colts because there might be too much time as Porter spins the weirdest way, then jukes the weirdest what? way. What are we doing, Ports? What are we doing? He's all over the 45 place. seconds and counting. Cincinnati's still all three timeouts. It's going to be a run. Le'Veon Bell. Haven't heard from Ooh, him a lot today. Big wow. tackle on the edge. Third and goal. If you're Eric G, do you ponder using a yeah, timeout? Yeah, I burn it. I burn it here. It's end goal. Why wouldn't you burn it? Why are you going to allow him to have the last play of the game to go into overtime? What Eric. are you doing? Eric, what are you doing? Eric, Earth to Eric G. Yeah, if I'm if I'm the Colts, I don't oh, hike this until there's like, if I don't I don't hike this until there's seconds left. Under ten probably. Run this clock down, man, in motion. Uh maybe a run left side. Nope, he's gonna go right side against where the blocker went. Oh, the coverage on the outside. Look at the Bengals defense coming up huge. And the Colts are gonna have to settle for a field goal to try to put in the overtime. But here's the deal. If they scored, you left yourself no time with a bunch of timeouts. I don't understand. Coop saying this, that makes no sense. Dump nice off job underneath. by Porter there. Work. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I figured it out. No, Bomber, I figured it out. Jay Ports picked up the controller. I figured it out. Oh, okay. This, that's why well, I hope so. That's a good excuse for me. But what about, oh, so he picked up the controller and did that juke? Yeah, no, he's been playing the whole this whole second half while quarters look good. Watch this get blocked. Watch this get blocked. To send it to overtime. Left side here, screen, four seconds Block left. Block it. Block it. Ball's down. Kicks up. It's true. We're going to OT. Indy. Cincy. Boy. How about an intentional grounding? His second one of the game for Porter. He's got to get deep vertical anyways. You know that's what's coming, so maybe back him up a little bit more, give him some more space to try to work the crossing route. What was the Bengals even thinking? Three timeouts, any thought about trying to get the ball back here? Uh, maybe I Donovan McNabb told him they get to keep those timeouts. <laughs> so now they got five or they what? Got, they got five, yeah. Four-man rush from the Saints. Deep. Nope, you got to look underneath. That's a nice I throw. love James it. Good. Jay oh. Porter. Maybe Way Jay to go, is playing Way to go Jay Port. Shout Jay Ports is playing open field tackling the defense, and Carolina's offense in the second half is now being controlled by Porter. There it goes. Explains it all. Shout out to Declan Cruz with the follow here on Twitch. Appreciate it, my friend. Double box action still as we got overtime in one game. 4-12 deal in the fourth quarter in the other one. Carolina driving, but it could show the – Oh, spins off the tackle. He's got some room. <laughs> He'll stay on his feet again. He's got to be dizzy. Oh, my gosh. The room's got to be this. Jayport's is great, man. Jayport's playing really well right <laughs> oh, now. Oh, man, he's got that stick skill. So whoever taught him to spin, he's like, all I need to know is one thing. Just give beat. me the spin, the beat. <laughs> and, but, but, and I'm but, good. That B button's getting worn out. Uh, first and 10 for Porter. And the Carolina Panthers. Nobody open throws back across his body. Stupid. It's, a it's just not even worth <laughs> the risk. Just said stupid. Just, <laughs> that's just so, <laughs> that is so not worth anything that could have happened there. Best case scenario, you pick up a yard or two. Worst case, he airmails that and you throw a pick. Cole starting off with the ball on the left side. Boy, how about this run defense from the Cincinnati Bengals? Seven carries, only 25 yards for Le'Veon Bell. 
I think it's more towards Indianapolis hasn't really stayed with the run. They haven't really used. I like to see Le'Veon Bell get between 12 to 15 carries. Right now, maybe got him on a little limited count uh, since it's towards the end of the season. Cringe ass is Jay Ports his dog or am I tripping? Cringe. No, it's not. Oh, cringe. is that cringe? Is that cringe. A, is that a is that a shot on the no, fact that did I you think, see the dog that he had? No, when I he think was a kid? I think cringe takes out the batteries in his phone when he's not using it to save it. <laughs> so, did you see the the picture with his dog though? Yeah. Balls out. Oh, oh, that was close. Woo. We got really Romo right there. We all rooting for the same. We're rooting for the same people here in both of these games, and it's obvious. I I don't care who wins. I don't care anymore. Hey, look. Uh, have I you have seen no... the dog picture of Porter's dog? Yeah. Did you yeah. hear my comment? Said that that dog had to has to be a human trapped in a dog's body. I mean, it, it's got <laughs> the facial. Jay Ports <laughs> Jay Ford used to be his dog. He finally got out of that dog body and was able to be a. Uh, and the sad part was then he passed old Porter up in life in the sense that he's got this great job where he gets like uh, a month and a half off per year. Shout out to Jay Ports, living the life. So says Porter. Third and two. Big third down. Waiting, looking, good user coverage underneath. McBride gets out of the pocket, but just yes. too much time. The Bengals get nowhere near the quarterback, and he is in business at the 41-yard line. Only missed three passes all day long. And that's just too much time in the pocket. You got an opportunity to get him off the field, and right there you don't sit any pressure. You hard flat. You know he's going to cross and route you, and by the time the crosser gets over there, he's over top of that hard <laughs> flat wide open. So Brad goes, you don't know who Jay Ports is, Cringe. And Cringe goes, no, but I'm sadly realizing it must not be his dog. <laughs> oh, Who says that? So funny. Oh, McBride just pressure. Just gets wait. Pressure. Shouldn't shouldn't Z Star's uh quarterback be named McBride? I just thought of that. You get it? Cause he's the bride's maid. No, McBride's oh. maid. Oh, well, it was close oh, as you can get. Oh, broken tackle! He's inside the 15, 10, 5, taken down to the three yard in the line. The Porter tackle machine continues to be broken. And shout out to Evie Rainbow Rose now following here on Twitch. Yeah, just underneath Savando Johnstone making a play. Oh, that's a dangerous throw Ooh. there for the Colts. Ooh. Guess we're going double box again. Why not? Boy, Bomber, what a way to welcome me back to NBA Live. Yeah, these have been two really fun games to watch. And we're going to get the opportunity to see Porter try to go, it, uh, go for the win here. Uh, in the final two minutes, uh, pending how all this happens, it could be a field goal, a touchdown, what he needs. But, hey, it's going to be balls in his court unless uh, two-point conversion is good for the Saints after they punch this in. Because they're scoring here. snap the ball, right? You can't kill this clock this much. <laughs> Got to snap it at some point. It does. It's underneath. Hey, Porter was right there. Just yeah. didn't make the play. How about that? The Saints back on top. Devontae Freeman, have yourself a day, big fella. Yeah, that's just uh, just a great game. Oh, what happened on the double A? The game's over. Double A scored, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, gosh. What happened? Eric G gave up a big touchdown, a long touchdown, or what? I missed it. Hold on. I got to set this back up. Oh, wow. I guess he did. Poor Eric. He could be missing the playoffs here, guys. Game over. McBride with the walk-off. He rolled out and walked into the end zone. Little quarterback run action. Two point conversion is good because uh, that defense was awful. Flag down. That's gonna be rough in the passer, right? No, it's a hold. There Woo! we go. Porter's getting all the breaks here. <laughs> oh man, he needed that one. Well, Andrew McBride with the run into the end zone. I was too busy watching Porter give up a touchdown on the right side of your screen. But how about uh, Double A winning in what might be one of the weirdest games? Because it didn't feel you know, like anybody wanted to win. Yeah, it was very – I thought I thought Double A was going to run away with it early. It didn't happen. Two-point conversion. He's past the line of scrimmage there, dum-dum. They <laughs> called him dum-dum. <laughs> 32 this to 27. This is the FCS. We know these guys. Like, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a lot more uh, friendly and personal to hear. It's not yeah, going uh, it, to be some shots. Yeah. Hmm. That was bold. Here we go, Carolina. That was bold. That ball was going to come down close to the end zone. I don't know. I don't know if I would have let that go. Rusta Busta, by the way. 9-0 and in his Bleach Report picks. Shout out to Rusta Busta doing it. Wait, so is, so is JB. I, I assume he nope. took... Uh, JB no, he didn't the, take the Colts. Uh, no, he was the one that took... Well, y yeah, I think JB took the Colts as well. I don't know, I can tell you. Wow. 
what footwork there by Border to elude that, that, but then then takes a big sack. What? So they're all 9-0 and right now. This yep. is the game that's going to change it because one's got the Saints and one's got the Panthers, which is JB's got the Panthers. And uh, Rusta Busta took the New Orleans Saints. Second and 21. Saints looking good here. Carolina needing a touchdown. Going to run the ball with McCaffrey? I like the call on second down. You got to be better than that, though. You got to beat that guy. Yeah. yeah that guy's got to get beat. They're in trouble here. 3rd and 15. If you're looking at this from the uh, eyes of Porter, you know all he's thinking is let me pick up 30 on this play. But if you're looking at the eyes through a player who's conservative and actually pretty smart, an 8-yard pass here does do you some good. He's not going to do that. He's going for the whole enchilada. Oh, it's I know. It's going to be boom or bust. Yeah. He's looking for 91 yards down the field, and he's only on the 20-yard line. He doesn't need the extra yards, but he's going 91, baby, to the house. DJ Moore on the right side. Uh, oh boy, they flipped out. I hate when they the, this do that. Oh boy. Oh, the blocking picked up nice. That was a bad throw Ooh. from the start. That was just a bad throw from the start. It was. It was. It was late though. I, I think it was slightly open at the beginning. He could have took the shot, and then he was really late, and then he then he let it up field on top of that. So he made it a bad late tight throw. He made it way worse by leading it up the field. Didn't have to lead it up the field on that one. Uh He's in trouble, fourth and 15, but you got DJ Moore. Watch the left side. Unsplit uh, close. He's, running, he's playing, running a little uh, X drag wide trail. Two oh, post DJ Moore on right a drag? Side. Pressure coming. He had he had guys open, and he's so late on the read. Every lead was, he had them both He passed open. the control back to Jay Ports. They're taking turns here, obviously. Give it back That's to Jay Ports. Come on. <laughs> Not out of it yet. He does have all three timeouts. New Orleans in field goal range. A kick for a field goal puts it in an eight-point game, but... Ain't pretty. Eric G in the chat saying, come on, Ports. Eric, I don't think you should be the one to talk. Timeout, boy. How those three timeouts do yeah, you? Yeah, what was, what was that how about, those three Eric? timeouts do you, boy? How how those work in overtime with those five? Yeah, you, you had the timeouts that with 40 seconds left. He's and goal on third down, which means you at max, you're burning, you're burning one more timeout. He either scores or he's kicking a field goal. I mean, that's what's happening. And you get the ball back with... A half a minute and, and some timeouts and an opportunity to get down the field, and you just let him burn the clock all the way down for no reason. Second so down and eight for the Saints. Got to think they're going to try to keep this one on the ground. Use up all those timeouts the Carolina has. On the offense. Nope. Try again. Second and three. <laughs> did, he turn it, did he turn it off conservative? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen that one. He gets an offsides penalty, so he turns it off conservative mm -hmm. and puts it on balance. No, but... <laughs> Trying to that oh, what a three. Luke Keekley. On the strip, he stops. Dead. He dead stops him. I just love him. He's like, oh, conservative clearly makes me jump offside. Let's go back to balance. <laughs> oh, Porter. Porter, Porter, Porter. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that in my entire life. I don't even know how that rationally makes any sense to think, oh, crap, he jumped offside. Let me take him off conservative. Hey, off. man, don't net, don't just conservatively try to jump this snap. Go back to balance, man. This has got to be a, a run commit, right? Quarterback sneak. Oh, That's a bull oh no, face mask, dude. Oh, how? My God, please how? Please. how? Why, Tell he me left, how. Why he's he wrapped around his waist. How is that a face mask? Hey, have you ever seen the Aaron Rodgers face mask on the Detroit Lions? I and mean, we had hands on the shoulder pad they called face mask, so. Don't leave aggressive on. Aggressive tackling for no reason. He's going to knee this game out. Porter. I got to go to the restroom. I'll be back. We're taking live, live uh, league breaks. I'm so annoyed. Not at times, B. James. Not at times. NBL, though, because even though the game is colossally infuriating all the time, you got something fun here uh, with the guys here in the league. So uh, the Panthers, I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. I, I, it was the thing. You can, I, I, I spend time at the MCS and, uh, it's okay, Eric. I still love you. Uh, you spend time with the MCS. These comp players complain about the game and bad things. And I, I agree with them, but come on over to the Sim side and watch how it really goes. Because at the end of the day, gameplay problems on the Sim side are high.
There's a lot of weird stuff that goes on when you're dealing with the ratings. Um, I lost I lost my game to Dark Knight today. Uh, uh, and, and again, all respect to Dark Knight because I love the guy. Uh, but he made one of the worst reads I've ever seen. Uh, it was man coverage on the five-yard line. Uh, Des Trufant had uh, Tyler Lockett locked up, standing still in the back of the end zone. He threw it to him anyways. And Lockett absolutely mossed 97 overall Des Trufant. That's why I'm just done. It just doesn't matter. Just uh, This is why... I do this stuff, because uh, if I didn't do this stuff, uh, I don't think uh, there'd be a lot of fun, but that's why NBA Live is fun. You get to laugh at the stuff, you get to enjoy uh, the weirdness that is Madden, and then you get to pray that next year there's less weirdness. Uh, that's all. Porter, uh, you didn't fail you. Uh, J Ports failed you. I don't know why you handed the controller, why he handed it back to you, man. Yeah, lock it, Moss Trufant. Standing still, back of the end zone. Trufant in front of him. 100% off an awful read by all stretch of the imagination. And uh, just straight up, just standing still back in the end zone right over the top of Des Trufant. I got it recorded. I'll, I'll post it in main chat. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I just laughed. I, it, that's what you got to do at this point. Weird stuff happens. All these uh, all these patches, everything, they mess with the game. They mess with a lot of the animations. Why you get weird stuff. And you just got to laugh at Otherwise, you're going to put your head through a wall. Fupachi is saying this league makes mad and fun. I haven't played in I haven't played in for months until I joined Grid. Hey, yeah, and that's the great part. You gotta find stuff that makes it enjoyable. It's why like I, I I have a lot of respect for the comp guys who play this game eight hours a day just for playing. Um because I don't know if I could do that without the other stuff. But that's why I love MBL. That's why content driven leagues I think are, are so important to the game because even when the game's not playing as we'd like it to, even when the game is infuriating, even when the game we think isn't very good or is very good either way, we have the other stuff on the backside of it. Uh Spartan kick the TV. Uh Evie Rainbow saying, I'm playing Madden 13 on my PlayStation 3. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing well, Evie Rainbow. Appreciate the follow. Um hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh Saturday night we're gonna have a Saturday night showcase, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's our, our best game, uh, and uh, it, it we don't know what it is yet. It's going to get scheduled by Unisolated, but it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Um, that'll be Saturday night. Probably 8 o'clock Eastern time is usually when we try to shoot for it. It might be 9 o'clock. We'll, we'll figure out with those guys. Um, make sure you hit that follow button. You guys all, most of you have, but make sure you hit that follow button just so you know each and every time we go live. We'll have games all next week uh, with playoffs around the corner. We'll crown a season 37 champion. Then it's into the offseason. we got some great shows going on then. That's all we got. That's all we got here on NBL Live. Appreciate you guys tuning in, hanging out with us. Hope you had fun. Two phenomenal games. Uh, for my co-host, Bomber, uh, I am OSU. Thank you once again for tuning in to NBL Live 279. We'll see you next time right here on NBL Live. I just want to say, hey, man, this is T.O., the cover athlete of the Madden 19 Hall of Fame edition, and you're watching the gold standard of the franchise mode, the NBL Network. Holla.